What up, world? About to make some new shit today. Hope you're into some Latin fusion. If you're not, then don't make it. We got all kinds of stuff going on today. Look at all this crazy stuff. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, I did. I'm going for it. We're making jalapeno margarita marinated filet mignons. We're going to have grilled corn succotash. I'm going to make a chocolate mole sauce with roasted basilla peppers. Ow! Then we're going to use this big ass sweet potato and make some mashed sweet potatoes to go on the side. Delicious. First off, shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you. Shout out to all my boys. Shout out to all my peoples on Xbox, the Trifecta, Shotgun Surgeon, Alan Poe, Afro Power, you all know who you are. They're watching my video and supporting my shit. Cheer! Alright, for the marinade, I chopped up some jalapenos, put them in a bag. I'm take some garlic salt, I'm gonna put it into the bag. Black pepper, into the bag. I'm gonna take the juice of two oranges, three limes, put them in the bag. Try to guess how many more times I'm gonna say, in the bag, in this video. As you can see, I'm just juicing it right into the bag. Yeah. Mm. Now we take a shot of tequila and we dump that shit in the bag. Man, for all you know that seen my video before, you know that ain't that's some bullshit. We need to pour more tequila in the bag. All right, now we're gonna take these beautiful pieces of filet mignon and put them in this shit right in here. I normally don't like filet mignon too much. It doesn't have enough fat on it, but the medallion is kind of what I was going for. So, this will work. Alright, get all the air out of that bag. Make sure them filet mignons are in the juice and the marinade. Put it in the fridge for a couple hours. You do not want to marinate this overnight with the lime juice. Your steaks will cook. You will have gray steaks in the morning. Yuck. While we have those filet mignons marinating, we need to have a drink. I think today I'm going to make pomegranate margaritas for that ass. What you're going to want is some pomegranate juice. This has some lime juice in it also. A shaker. A shaker. Some limes. Agave syrup. Tequila. And we're going to put it all together. Watch and learn. Alright. I'm going to start with putting a little bit of agave syrup in here. I'm going to take some limes and squeeze them in. You normally want to do the same amount of agave syrup as you do lime juice, but I like them a little tartar, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little extra lime in this lime limb. Like so. Pour a little tequila in there. Pour the pomegranate juice in there. We're pretty much done. If you're a baller, put a little bit of triple sec in there too, which I is. All right, we topped it off with ice. We're gonna top it off with the shaker. I'm gonna shake the shit out of it real quick. You want to shake it to get the agave syrup dissolved. Voila! Doesn't that look good? He's good. All right, for this succotage, you're gonna need some corn, preferably fresh corn. If you get frozen corn, it'll work too, but that sucks. This is sweeter. All the starches haven't converted out yet. All right, this is a pasilla pepper, nice and earthy. We're gonna put this on the grill too. Get it nice and roasted. We're gonna add this to the mole sauce. All right, now we're about to transport this pepper and these corns outside to the motherfucking grill. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we're gonna put this bitch on the grill. Yeah. Get them shits nice and charred. You should end up with something that looks like this. Nice brown edges on your junk. Yeah, that's my junk. Alright, your corn should be nice and charred now. It smells like fucking popcorn in this bitch. All right, now that the corn is done, we're going to let this cool off until I need it later. We're going to cut all that shit off of the cob, saute it with some bell peppers, you know, some fun stuff. All right, now that this basilla pepper is charred and cooked, we're going to take the skin off of it. Taking the skin off is really easy. You're going to see how the char lifted the skin up a little bit. You pretty much just can scrape it off like this. See how it's coming off? 
Booyah Do that to the whole pepper. Alright, now you should have most of the skin off, if not all of the skin taken off. Then you should be left with a nice fleshy soft piece of pepper. I'm going to take this, I'm going to chop the hell out of it. We're going to use this later. Voila! Chop a sea of pepper that's been roasted. It will be kind of like mushy and chopped at the same time. It'll be good because we're going to add it to that mole sauce later and it should dissolve a lot. Alright, now we got cold corn. We're going to go ahead and cut this shit off like so. I'm going to do this with both of the corns. I won't bore you with my cutting. Alright, take red bell pepper. We're going to cut this into little cubes about the same size as the corn. Watch this video magic. BAM! Chopped! And some chopped red onions. I'm going to need that for the succotash too. Wow! For the mole sauce, you're going to want these following ingredients. All right, onto that succotage. I've got this bacon chopped the fuck up into little pieces, about to put it in a pan, because that's what you do. You can't eat it raw, stupid. You hear that sizzling? All right, for the dry ingredients for the mole, you're going to need a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, Half a teaspoon of paprika. Half a teaspoon of Saigon cinnamon. <laughs> Remember this from one of my videos? I bet you do. Half a teaspoon of cloves, ground cloves. Just throwing it out there. You can grind up all your own spices if you want. It does taste a little better, but that takes a lot of fucking time. Alright, now we're going to take an onion, we're going to chop it to little bitty pieces. Like so. Do that with the other half. So you should have one medium onion, chop the shit up, and maybe some teary eyes. A couple of cloves of garlic, minced. A little garlic trick for you. Makes the skin come off a lot easier. Look at that. Look how fast that was. Oh, I know you're at home just peeling away at the garlic clove like a silly goose. Voila, minced garlic. All right, now you'll need one can of diced tomatoes. 14 and a half ounces will do. One cup of chicken broth. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can put all of this into the same cup or batch. It's all going to go in at the same time. So don't trip, boo. That reserved pasilla pepper that we had grilled earlier. About a third of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Or any kind of chocolate chips that are semi-sweet. Or any kind of chocolate that'll do that's semi-sweet. I don't care. Buy your own. The garlic that we chopped. And the onions that we chopped. One bay leaf. That's one. God damn it. Compile everything here. I'll just go over it one more time. Chopped onions, garlic, chocolate, pasilla pepper, spices with the bay leaf, the tomato, the chicken stock, the brown sugar is in that bitch. Alright, we got this sweet potato here. I already peeled it. Skip the boring shit. I'm going to cut it up into pieces, put it in a pot of boiling water. Then we're going to smash the shit out of it. Alright, we got that big motherfucking sweet potato about to start boiling. We've got this big pan on medium-high heat. We're going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to it. Start sauteing these onions and these garlics. Make that mole sauce. All right, tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil in that pot, hot as fuck. Add these onions. Add the garlic. Some technique. Poblano chili. Some technique. Who else do you know that could cook at the same time as holding a video camera? I ain't got no tripod. See it. 
You know what? I'm crazy. Tequila time in there. All right, now we got these onions cooked down. Throw that bay leaf in there real quick. Ain't gonna do much right now. Just wanna get it wet. The club wet, wet. All right, after about 10 seconds, add all those spices that we did earlier. Mix it in. All right, now we got all those spices incorporated in them onions. We're gonna dump this chicken stock. Brown sugar diced tomato love concoctionness of worlds into this pot. The end. And now what you're gonna want is a beer to drink. <sighs> Can't cook without a beer. All right, I let these steaks marinate for about a couple hours. Took them out, top them with some garlic salt, some green pepper, and black pepper. I'm about to go throw them on the grill. Unfortunately, it's dark out now, so I'm gonna be grilling at nighttime, so you're not gonna be able to see it. But I'll bring it back in and I'll show them to you once they're grilled. Yeah, you're gonna have some sexy stew-like motherfucking concoction here. Hate that word concoction now. I'm not gonna use it anymore. Concoction. All right, now that we got this sauce on simmer down mode, we're about to add this semi-sweet chocolate chips to this shit. Don't worry, it's not gonna taste disgusting. It's gonna taste great. All right, originally, this bacon was gonna go into the succotage, but guess what? I'm switching this shit up. I'm putting the bacon in the mole sauce. Oh no, I didn't! All right, we drained those potatoes. We added some milk to it. About to add some butter to this shit. We're gonna mash it up. Add a little salt and pepper, the end. Look at them sweet potatoes all mashed the fuck up. I added a little bit of salt and pepper. You know. While the steaks are grilling, this is what we're gonna do. All right, now we saute some butter, and we put some peas in the pan. Pan and peas. Two peas, easy to remember, stupid. All right, now we're gonna add red onions and bell peppers. God damn it. Can't use the thumb trick on this shit. Yeah, there it goes. Thumb trick. Saute half of this fucking plate. Look at all these beautiful colors. Did your mama tell you to taste the rainbow? Or was that a gay ass Skittles commercial that's on? I don't fucking know. Thought these colors were nice. Shit, wait till we add that grilled corn. What's that corn up in here? Adding all kinds of colors in this bitch. Mm-hmm. Final stages of the cooking process, we're gonna add a little bit of chili powder to it. Just kind of give it a nice zine, kind of counteract the sweetness of the sweet potatoes and the mole. Add a little salt. Stir it up. And if you throw food all over the ground while you're stirring stuff up, you're a professional. All right, we're gonna add this mole sauce to this plate over here. Now we're gonna add some of that succotage to this plate because it's suffering succotage. Some of that sweet mashed potatoes on this piece here. Yummy. We're gonna place a piece of grilled filet mignon right here in the middle. Isn't that sexy? Tell me that doesn't look delicious and colorful. If you wanna be super gangster, you can butterfly some avocado and put it right there. Chia. Girl, how'd that dinner go? Oh, it's amazing. Hmm. These are still flowers from her. There's some damn shit right here. Look at this damn crazy shit. Shit's on your favorite food. For sure. Till next time. <laughs>